And there I was, top of the world. Yeah, baby, I done made it. Look, mama, I done made it. Woohoo! Y'all see me? T here I is, Team USA. And and then I realized, oh, oh, I got a lot of shit I need to say about this stuff. Welcome to Race Tape. Okay, it's a Sunday, and I'm doing a show on a Sunday. It's cool, I guess. I guess because. People are liking the show, so a lot of things to talk about, but I'm not going to talk about today, which is the things that already happened. So let me remind people of how, let me remind you of what Raise Take is, okay? Raise Take is a extended, 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 extended version of ESPN that ESPN don't know about. Because don't nobody really know about track and field. Because our sport ain't as entertaining. But I'm here to change that. So again, Ray's take is going to be about track and field stuff. It's going to be about the, the, the topics of the races that just happened. Okay? So what that means is, don't be looking for me to debate you on nothing about a race that happened three weeks ago. I'm not going to do it. If you just not saw that video, I'm sorry. You should be tuned in every day. That's old news. Okay? Don't be expecting me to debate you on a topic that was three days ago. I'm over it. I'm past it. Unless it's a good one. If it's a good one and we have to stay on this topic, I'm going to be on that topic. But if it ain't on that topic, I ain't going to be on that topic. I'm moving on, okay? It's a show, people. And with that being said, have a little bit of fun. Lighten up a little bit. Get out of your feelings. Don't be so personal, all right? I'll be in the comments because th that's how I do. That's why I do shows because I go back and I read the comments. I'm one of those YouTubers. Didn't know that was the name what they called me, people like me. But I'm a YouTuber, okay? I go through the comments. I see all type of stuff. Oh, he's just so negative. Oh, this and that. Yada, yada, yada. Just people just in their feelings all the time. Don't be in your feelings. It's a show. I'm an entertainer. This is what I do. I bring life and light and positivity. Oh, llama, dang, I went out. Hold on, I'm trying something new today. Watch out, because I'm, I'm going big. You see what I'm saying? I got pads and stuff now hooked up to the TV, because I'm doing big things on this show. Check this out. So, today's show, before we even get into today's show, y'all saw the topic. Yeah, that Maurice Green fire extinguisher nonsense was lame as hell. I said again, I don't care who thought it was cool. That fire extinguisher of Maurice Green stuff was lame as hell. I got to work on cursing and he telling me that. But whatever. It is what it is. Before I go any further, y'all know y'all got to check out my check, check TV. If you ain't seen another episode, you'll see this episode. Check out this jacket, baby. You ain't got this jacket. This how you know. I'm, I don't try to feel. You see this? Catch up. Not mustard. Catch up. All right. Let's get into today's show. Uh, first of all, Shout out to my homie Dwight. <clears throat> long jump, gold jump, gold jump, long jump, long jump, gold jump, gold jump, long jump. Dwight Phillips. Got no time out. Shout out to my man. He wants to come on the show. He wants to debate me. He should not do that. I'm going to kill him. But anyway, back to the show. Maurice Green. And the year was 2005. Maurice Green had the audacity, the audacity to have his shoes put out with fire extinguishers. I know some of y'all might be a little young, so that's why I wanted to bring this back up in case you didn't know it. I'm going to show it for you. I'm going to play it. Check it. This is it. Oh, by the way, I have a new co-host. His name is Calls. This is the homie Calls. He's my new co-host. He's going to be, you know, on the show with me, going back and forth with me, but don't worry about it. Anyway, Maurice Green. Fire extinguishers. Just play the video. Some disrespectful stuff. Most disrespectful. When I say disrespectful, you don't do people like this. You don't do people like this. Furthermore, you don't do people like this, like me, when I'm in the race. That's right, people. You didn't know that, did you? You know that was coming, did you? You know that part, did you? Yes, I was in this race. That's why I call it so lame. You see it right there. What it say? Ray Edwards, lane three. That's this guy. This is the Ray Edwards guy. This is why I'm so mad about this race. I'm going to play this race. And then you understand why I'm so mad about this race. He can't be putting fire extinguisher out on, on spikes like you just like you just, just destroy people. It's not what you do. It's not fun. It's not fair. I told him that same thing too. 
Play. Got Ray Wills. Play video. That's a hell of a lineup right there, but that is a hell of a lineup if I ever seen one. Take my one. Two hundred U.S. outdoor champion. Woo! My name is Ray Elwood. I heard him say it. Terrence Trammell Tom is a guy who has never been satisfied with just being a great hurdler. Hold on, I gotta stop it right fast. I'm having him on the show. I, I gotta have him on the show. TT, that's what we call him. TT Terrence Trammell is probably, in my opinion, one of the most warrioristic track and field athletes ever. He was on a whole nother, he was in a field by himself and then there was everybody else. It, the, I idolized him so much, that's my big brother. But anyway, back to the race, play it. I haven't had to do him this way in the race, but watch it. Just Jeff Aubrey's green right now. Hey, fast forward! What is in the block? What is in the block? I ain't got time for it. What is in the block? Cause of life. Cause of life. Cause of life. They come to spreaders when they're, you know, late in their career. The thing that I get from him, Tom, is that I'm, I'm beginning to sense that confidence again that we saw in 2000. It's not right, completely, right. And yeah, it's not completely there yet, but, but he's getting close. And if he can drop time here, that's going to help him a lot. Sarah? Yeah, I'll go over there. I didn't really get out of the all right. I'm still in the race, though. I'm actually in the race. I got to go, go chase more. I got to go chase more. That's all I said. Ooh, I had him. I had him. Mama, I was right here. Mama, I was right here. And he hit another gill. What's this? What's this? What are you doing? What are you doing? What's going on? Stop. Right there. Stop right there. Stop right there. I have a problem with this. And I told Mo, right when we got done, he laughed at me. But it didn't matter. I had a problem with this. Mo, my mama watching, all right? My mama's watching this damn race, Mo. You can't be out here doing this type of, this type of nonsense. Like you just, like you just, just did some. You can't be doing this to people. The problem what I'm trying to say. Now here's why I had a problem with it, people. I had a problem with it because I didn't feel like Mo was Mo in this race to do this. I feel like this wasn't the Maurice Green that I grew up watching. This wasn't the Maurice Green that I knew to be the GOAT. This wasn't that Maurice Green. So I had a problem with it because I damn near beat you. I, just, I can't Ray Edwards can't be this close to you, and then you think that that's good enough for you to put your shoes out with a fire extinguisher. You just look. I'm, I'm sure to do. What did you do? What did you do? Just, just, and they. <laughs> no. What did he do? What did he do that he just that he feel like he get to put his shoes out with a fire extinguisher? What did he do? You got fire extinguisher all on the track. Other people got to race. Other people got to got to do stuff. Here come Carol. Let's see what she got to say about it. I knew my train been going great, so I just wanted to come out here and put together a good race. All right, so uh, officially 987, uh, it's better than a good race, huh? Yeah, um, that just tells how good my train is going. As long as I'm healthy, it's just I can't eat. I, I feel like I'm back in the race again. I feel like I'm back in the race again. We're just gonna stop it right there. We're just gonna stop it right there. 986 is what Maurice won with. 996 is what Doc got. Don't worry about the glare. We'll fix it later. 1004 is what. Oh, no, 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 Cole, baby, what happened? What happened? Talk to me. Talk to me.
don't trip it. You can't be, you, listen, wake up. I told you, I told you last night, going out all night last night, I told you I had to be sure in the morning. Did nobody tell you to be out all, 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 all night? Anyway, back to the show. Don't worry about calls. I got fourth in this race, all right? I got fourth in this race with 10.04, okay? Now, the reason why I feel like it was lame for Mo to do that was based off of that time, in my career at least, based off of the field, and I'm not disrespecting any of us. We was all gunners. We was all gunners, every last one of them. But what I'm saying is, you already had it planned to put out your shoe with a fire extinguisher. That is so disrespectful to everybody else in the field. Why? Because you've already said, can't nobody beat me. Well, I don't think that's fair. You didn't do that, 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 you didn't do that stuff when you had lined up against the, the other people. You didn't do that to them. You won't pick on us. Cause we the little people. Cause we just not coming out. Just cause I ain't but like 22 years old and I ain't got no name. You wanna pick on people like me. You wanna pick on people like Terrence Mayer cause he's a hurdler. You wanna pick on people like Doc because he's a 200 meter person. And you wanna pick on us because ain't none of us ran 9-7. But you want you want to be a nine seven runner and gonna come out with a bunch of ten old and nine nine high runners and put your shoes out like you did something. You ain't do nothing. You, ain't, you you beat us. You beat us. Us. It wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it at all. Okay. Since we're here, and because I do get a whole lot of gripe about my videos, a lot of people are asking me. Well, what makes you so smart? How do you know this stuff? Who are you? Why are you hating so much on everybody? What have you done? What, who, who are you? What have you done that you can run? You can talk about the 100 to 200 people, tell me what they can and can't do. Well, let's just, I'm glad you asked that. That's kind of why I played this video. Just to, just, just to let people know just a little bit about me. A little bit about myself. A little bit about the fact that I am Mr. Track and Field. I've been around forever, y'all. I've been around forever. When I say I've been around forever, I've been around for a long time. There I is again. You see, you see, you see, you see that. You see, you see the face. You see, you see, you see, you see it. That's Tim Montgomery. That's the day I had to race to World Rugby Holder. I hold my, I had to hold my own. It's 2003. I had to hold my own. I finished sixth at USA that year. Dropped 1009 on them. Beat people like JD. Beat all them folks that you know about. Beat him up, beat him up. That guy, forgot his name. Beat him, beat him bad. That guy trained, that was Lil Mo. We called him Lil Mo. I forgot his name, but beat him bad. Beat all of them bad. It just, just bad. Oh yeah, there I go again. Ugly face. Another ugly face. That's Tyson Gay. Happy to be my best friend. That's Walter Dix. This happened to be way back when he was still in Florida State. They beat up on me, but it was okay. I was there. I ran like 10 09. They ran something stupid, nine eights and stuff. But it's all right. It's okay. It's not the point I'm trying to make. Kapaya! Don't worry about not being able to see this. I'm going to read it out for you. This would be the 2009 USATF Comprehensive Track and Field Season Top List. On this list, I see a name by the name of Ray Edawasa, 10 Nike, 10.02, that will make him... That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Number seven in America on this list. Number seven in America in 2009. Tell me I would have been in the top ten in America. Whoo, that boy must have been fast. Whoo, spin it back. 2010. You can't see the list. Don't worry about it. I need ESPN to help me so I can get a real show so y'all can see stuff like this. We're working on it. 2010. There he is again. I see the boy's name. The boy named Ray Edwards. He ran with Team Nike. He ran 10.000 this year. That would have put him at number one, two, three, four, five, six in America. Number six in America. 2010. That's two years in a row. Two years in a row, he was ranked in the top 10. Oh, you know what? You can't see it. Don't worry about it. I jumped all the way back to 2003. Don't even worry about it. 2003. <laughs> we have, again, I see that boy's name. Ray Edwards. 10.09, Nike, woo, what place they put him at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Number eight in America 
America in 2003. So let me get this straight. So in 2003, he was in the top 10 in America. 2009, he was in the top 10 in America. 2010, he was in the top 10 in America. What the heck are years in between? I'm glad you asked. 2005, there he is again. Ray Edwards, Team Nike, 1008, which would have put him at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Number seven in America. Again, 2005. So, top 10 in like 03, 05. It, it, it's just like a long range of being in the top 10 in America as an American sprung. It's just so, so, so long. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's another year. 2007. It's a, wait, 2007? Ray Yo was 1009 again. Damn. So, that put him at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Number 8. He's number 8 in, in America. Damn, that boy was fast. Oh, shoot, what's this? Because somebody probably going to say, well, that's just America, Jack. That's just America, Jack. What have you done in the world, Jack? I'll show you what I did in the world. Because we're talking about the 100 so much, I'm going to completely skip off the 100 and go to the 200. 2000 and what year is this? People are 2000 and what? 2009. The boy name right there. You can't see it, but it's right there. I got it in my pad. It's right there. It say Monday. Well, actually, say Ray Monday. He said, "Which 2017 rank number ten? You saying Bolt 1919 rank number one? So you mean to tell me the same year that you saying Bolt was rank number one and broke the world record in the 200 meter dash in the entire world? I was rank number two. Nope, said that wrong, didn't I? Tyson number two. I was number ten. So let me get this straight. So 2019, when Usain Bolt was ranked number one in 200 and broke the world record, I was number 10 in the world with 2017. People, this is what I'm talking about. The reason why I have this show. The reason why I talk the way I do. The reason why I'm so passionate about this sport is because I've been in this sport forever. I've been in this sport forever. I've been in this sport so long, you don't even know how long I've been in this sport. I've been in this sport so long, I've been in this sport long enough to switch countries. Y'all think I'm playing. Hold on, it's Sunday morning. I'm giving them service. Where at? Oh, this is this, this is a beautiful one. This is a beautiful one here. This is, uh, I think it's a uh, third in the honey. Cool guys right there. Cool guys right there. But, uh, but, uh, this just a little stroll down memory lane just, just for me, if nothing else, just so that I can show that type of stuff. 2016, what happened? What happened? I'll tell you what happened. That was my retirement year, okay? You know why? Because 2016, well, I can back it up. 2014, I said, you know what, Ray? You've done a lot. You did a whole lot, Ray. You did a whole lot in your, in your American career. You got hurt in 2012 right before London. Donald Dummett took you out. Can't run no more. 2013, you broke your jaw, Ray. Can't run 2013. 2014, come up. Wait a minute. I don't set out two years due to injuries. So if 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 my understanding of the sport is correct, this is the first time Ray Edwards has not made a made a uh, international team of Team USA in, ever. Ever. I've always made them. When I was 19 years old, I was number one in hundred. <laughs> I was number two in the two hundred. I ran 1018 when I was 18. That's another story. So in my whole career, every year I made a team. No matter what, I made I, I made a team, whether it was a Pan Am team for America. Whatever it was, World Championship team, I made it, people. So then I got, I broke, I, London, I got hurt, couldn't run that year, didn't make the team. 2013, I broke my jaw, couldn't get in nationals. I said, man, wait a minute. This is the first time ever I had to sit out for two seasons. And according to the trade clause, if I want to switch countries, I got to sit out two years. So I did some research, I did some research. Talk to my mom, talk to my dad, talk to everybody. I say, look at family, look at family. I'm thinking about switching over and going with my roots. I'm thinking about running with Team Nigeria. What do y'all think? They said, Ray, you should do that. You've done a lot for America. Why not? You finna get ready to retire. Retire with a whole nother country, whole nother team. Do that. So I did that. You know what happened? I tell you what happened. Got medals with them. African championships. Commonwealth Games, all that good stuff. Rio come around. I get myself together. I say, y'all don't worry about it. I'm qualified for Rio. One track meet. Don't even worry about it. Pay out. What the boy do? Qualify for real. One track meet. 1016. Make a long story short, go look it up somewhere. I didn't get to go to Rio only because the Monday before the opening ceremony is, we found out that somebody at 
the uh, Nigerian Olympic Committee forgot to send the paperwork in that had all our names on it. And that's why Team Nigeria in 2016 only had 200 meter sprinters. Because I was the third sprinter supposed to be in Rio. And I didn't get to go to Rio because it messed paperwork up. I'm not bitter about it. It happens. Those type of things happen. Those type of things happen. But the only reason why I'm telling y'all this is because I'm really... Turn my hand around for this one. I'm really talking to all y'all in my comments. Stop getting in my comment box talking about all what I'm talking about. Stop getting in my comment box talking about these boys could beat me. I'm just mad because I ain't never raced. I ain't never did nothing. I'm just jealous. Stop getting in my comment box talking about that because that's all fake. I know every one of these people. Every one of the people I talk about, I can literally pick up the phone and call them, okay? So what you need to do is sit back, enjoy the show, and just be happy. Be merry. Be happy that you're getting some entertainment in track and field. It's not as boring as watching paint dry. I'm talking to y'all. In my comments. Say I'm like, I got on comments to my son. What have you done? How do you know? You probably never even ran fast. Damn it, I've ran fast a lot. Enjoy the show!